Hey guys, today I'm going to fit uh, this LGA 771 Xeon processor into my Optiplex 330, which is LGA 775. And you're probably wondering why I'd want to do that. Now, the answer to that is simply these Xeon processors are really cheap and you get a lot more for your money. Uh, they're also very overclockable. In order to do this, first thing I need to do is need to use this little tiny modification I need to connect some of the pins on the Xeon processor um, now to do that I'm going to use these which are of course tweezers in order to do this bit uh, I'm going to need both hands so I have to put my camera on a stand so it looks as though the first thing to do is peel off the sticky backing Aha, that's the first side off. And so I don't lose all the stickiness, I'm going to actually put this on straight away. So, just out of the shot, I'm just going to have a quick look at the instructions. So, with this part of it, with what looks like a on the top, I don't know if you can see that. This actually goes on to now you've got to get this bit right. The very edge of here. This is very, very tricky. It's not quite right, but I'll be able to straighten that up. So if you can see that. So just need to get it aligned first. And then I need to take off with a piece of sticky stuff. There we go. So now I really need to get this aligned. This is probably gonna be quite difficult but here goes ah. doesn't seem too bad so as you can see all the contacts are poking through the two that need to be joined are now joined fab so that's the first part done Okay, so the next job is to whip open the Optiplex 330, which you'll see me do about 100 times on my other videos. And, mm, nice graphics card. What we need to do now is unscrew where the processor is housed in there. So, I'll now take this off. So that's off, I've got the new processor. So let's see what happens when we try and fit it. If we align up the notches, what you'll find is you can't put the processor in there. So what we're actually gonna have to do is get a Stanley knife, chop off these little notches here. 
there's one at each side and I'm just going to do that off camera because this could get quite messy okay as you can see here and here I've now cut off the notches so the Xeon process is now going to fit now to put it in you need to align the arrow on the processor, I don't know if you can see that up near the top of the screen with the arrow here on the socket so it seemed, it looks as though you're putting it in sideways with the Xeon processor but you're not, you're putting it in the correct way Just pop it in and then snap the socket down make sure it's nice and snug a little bit of heat sink compound on the top of the processor that's probably enough I can never get this right I just always slop far too much on and then pop the heat sink back on I'm sure I was doing it the right way screws We'll see what happens okay so I've switched it on and it's worked there we go I've gone into Windows 10 and as you can see it's showing as the correct processor and everything seems fine it seems really really quick uh, so I'm really pleased with this upgrade and it only cost me ten dollars or I think it was about nine pounds don't know these days but it was it was cheap <laughs> 